The tiny principality of Liechtenstein, an independent state tucked between Switzerland and Austria, is one of the most picturesque alpine countries in Europe. Despite being only 160 square kilometers in size and having a population of just 38,000, Liechtenstein is an economic powerhouse thanks to its favorable tax laws. In this video, we're going to be taking a look at the top 10 rated tourist attractions in Liechtenstein. And just wait till you see the number one that we're going to be showing in this video, something you would never even have thought of, so make sure you watch till the end. Before we begin, make sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel for more awesome travel guides. And make sure you hit the notification bell so that you know when we publish a new video. So now, let's cut to the chase. At 10, Winter Fun in Melbourne. Famous as Liechtenstein's only winter resort, the small town of Melbourne, once only inhabited in summer, is now a draw for winter sports enthusiasts. Perched on an alpine ridge in the Saminatal Valley, Melbourne boasts perfect snow conditions that led to the establishment of the first ski lifts and slopes in the 1960s. Today, its many groomed trails and après ski activities enjoy one of the longest seasons in the Alps. All told, more than 23 kilometers of pistes are maintained, offering suitable terrain for skiers of all abilities, served by three lifts capable of hauling skiers to heights of 2,000 meters. For kids, Malby Park Kinderland offers beginner's lessons and programs, and the area also boasts a large network of Nordic ski trails. The resort is also quite popular in the spring and summer months. During these warmer months, the slopes instead become a magnet for hikers, climbers and mountain bikers from across Europe. At 9, hiking the historical Eschneberg Trail. Thanks to its alpine setting and quaint towns and villages, Liechtenstein is a hiker's paradise. In fact, this tiny nation draws outdoor enthusiasts from across Europe to its many unspoiled mountain peaks, wooded slopes and attractive valleys. Numerous well-established trails crisscross the country. Just look for the bright signs showing walking times, they're everywhere. One of the most popular of these trails is the 15-kilometer historical Eschneberg Trail, connecting the towns of Bendern and Schellenberg. Highlights of this fun trail include the prehistoric settlements of Lutzengutler and Malanser, as well as many spectacular views over the Rhine and the surrounding mountains. Another popular trail is the Prince's Way Hike, this excellent route passes through the scenic Ratikon mountain range and offers superb views of the famous Three Sisters Mountains. At 8, it's Triesenberg's culinary delights. Triesenberg, the largest municipality in Liechtenstein, lies in a beautiful location in the middle of an alpine valley just 6 kilometers from the capital of Vaduz. The picturesque village itself is known not only for its splendid scenery and unique dialect, a variation of German originating from the Walser region, but also for its food festival, the Triesenberger Wochen, held each year from mid-October to the end of November. During the festival, local restaurants and hotels serve up traditional dishes of the Walser people, many of them centuries old and unique to the village. There's no shortage of beautiful vistas from the village's cute chalets, hotels and small inns too, making Triesenberg a great place from which to explore Liechtenstein. And it sounds delicious. At 7, Shan and the Liechtenstein Festival. The town of Shan is located just 3 kilometers north of Vaduz at the foot of the dry Schwestern Massif. This busy little industrial town is notable for its old Roman fort foundations. Located in a beautiful spot perched above the town is the 18th century pilgrimage church of Maria Zum Trost, notable for its fine views. One of the oldest towns in Liechtenstein, Schan, is home to the Domus Center with its exhibits of local history and art. It's also where you'll find an interesting coppersmith's workshop as well as the fascinating calculator and typewriter museum. A museum of typewriters, that's a first. Shan is also a good place to begin a hike and includes a number of well-marked trails of varied difficulty. It's also home to the Liechtenstein Festival called Life, a two-day celebration of music, entertainment and food held here each summer. Sounds great. At 6, the towns of Nendel and Eschen. The small towns of Nendel and Eschen are the principal communities of the lowland area of Liechtenstein and are well worth a visit. 
Nendeln is notable for its old foundations from a Roman villa, as well as the Shadler Pottery, established in 1836 and the oldest craft workshop in the country. Famous for its stoneware crockery and traditional tilted stoves, this art-related attraction offers guided tours of the workshop, glazing area and kiln room. Of interest in Eschen are the Pfundhaus, a 14th century building used to display local art and the attractive Holy Cross Chapel. Eschen is also the starting place of an easy one and a half hour hike offering superb views of the surrounding area. And now at five, Liechtenstein National Museum. A must see while in Vaduz is the excellent Liechtenstein National Museum. This state-owned attraction is housed in a splendidly preserved 15th century former inn that was once visited by Johann Wolfgang von Goethe in 1788. Highlights include a superb 1 to 10,000 scale relief model of the principality as well as exhibits focusing on the country's prehistory and early history. Be sure to check out the many displays of weapons and religious art too. Also worth a visit is the Postal Museum. A branch of the Liechtenstein National Museum, this popular attraction features numerous displays of postage stamps issued since 1912 and the history of the country's postal service. At 4, Gutenberg Castle. High above the village of Balzers in the south of Liechtenstein stands majestic Gutenberg Castle, a superbly preserved fortress dating from the Middle Ages. The 70-metre-high hill on which the castle stands has been inhabited since Neolithic times, with many of the most important archaeological finds, including the ancient Mars von Gutenberg statuette, now housed in the Liechtenstein Landes Museum. Highlights of a visit include the chapel and rose garden, along with the many fun cultural events and festivals held in the warmer months. These include open-air concerts and outdoor theatrical performances. The castle is open year-round, and the fact that they don't charge admission makes a visit to this impressed fortress one of the most important things to do for free in Liechtenstein. The gardens are free to visit on weekends. At 3. State-of-the-art Kunstmuseum Liechtenstein Housed in a state-of-the-art facility in Vaduz, the architecturally pleasing Liechtenstein State Art Gallery showcases many fine examples of modern and contemporary artwork. In addition to frequent temporary exhibits, its permanent collection includes numerous pieces from the 19th century. These include sculptures and works from the collection of the Prince of Liechtenstein, English language tours are available and there's a bright modern cafe on the premises. Also worthy of a visit is Kunstraum Englanderbau, this nearby exhibition space regularly hosts displays of contemporary art from around the world. At 2, the treasure chamber of the Principality of Liechtenstein. With its focus on the country's rich royal heritage, the treasure chamber of the Principality of Liechtenstein is a must-see attraction in Vaduz. Consisting of artworks and other treasures from the Princely family's 400-year-old private collection, the items on display have been supplemented by donations from notable private collectors such as Adolf Goub, whose collection of rare bejeweled Easter eggs include work by the famous Karl Fabergé. Other highlights include an array of superb artworks, including the Rhine Journey series by Luhan Ludwig Bluhler. There's also a large collection of historic weaponry, along with many other artefacts with connections to European royalty through the centuries. There's even an interesting collection of moon rocks, given to the country in recognition of the role of its manufacturing base in NASA's spacecraft. This popular new attraction gets busy during peak seasons, so plan your visit for early in the day if possible. Better still, visit during the shoulder seasons. And finally, at number one, Liechtenstein's capital city, Vaduz. One of the most picturesque capitals in Europe, and certainly the smallest, Vaduz is home to the Liechtenstein Center. This tourist information center offers everything you need in order to get the most out of your visit and should definitely be included on your Liechtenstein travel itinerary. In fact, you should make it one of your first stops. Popular things to do in Vaduz include shopping and dining, as well as exploring the city's historic Stadler, or small town, with its many attractions. One of the most visited attractions here is the country's parliament building, or Landtag, located near the banks of the River Rhine in Peter Kaiserplatz. English language guided tours are available. Also worth seeing is the Rathausplatz, home to the historic town hall. 
Here you'll also find the neo-Gothic parish church built in 1873, also known as the Cathedral of St. Florian. And although it's not open to the public, you'll want to get some photos of the impressive 12th century Vaduz Castle. Also known as the Princely House of Liechtenstein, this impressive building is home to the country's monarch. And there you have the top 10 rated tourist attractions in Liechtenstein. Did you like what you saw? Let us know in the comments down below. Share this video with your friends and don't forget to subscribe to our channel for more fantastic travel guides. See you next time.